And what's up everybody? So today we are going to talk about how to remove Final Cut Pro trial from your Mac. So what we're going to do is very simple. Um, you're going to go to Finder. Um, and right now this is going to show up because this is in my trash. I'm actually going to remove. But where you're going to find this is you're going to go to Applications. You're going to scroll. You're going to find Final Cut Pro. And you're going to click on it. And then when you click on it, okay, we're going to just say that this is Final Cut Pro. It's going to say open or you can move this to track. I want you guys to see that these are all the files that you need to look for. Um, these are all the files that are going to be um, Final Cut Pro trial. So it's going to be, we're going to do cancel. Okay, hold. All right, we're going to open this. We're going to get info. Um, so this is going to be the name of the one that you guys need to remove, which is Final Cut Pro Trial dot save dot FCP workspace. Um, it takes 28 gigabytes. So it's almost nothing, but you know, um, let me see. Um, and you're going to get info again. You're going to double check if it's Final Cut Pro related. Yeah, Final Cut Pro Trial extension. Um, and you're going to want to remove that too. It's about 69 bytes. Does not that much at all. Um, and this is the Final Cut Pro Trial application, actual application. Um, and we're going to get info on this Final Cut Pro Trial. And this itself um, is about 3.77 gigabytes. So this is where all your space is basically on. Um, we're going to remove that. And you're going to remove Final Cut Pro Trial, um, which has the workspace um, files. And that's it. That is everything that you need to remove. Um, so we're going to just trash that. I already have this on my trash. Um, and in order to find these files, um, what you're going to have to do is you're going to go to Applications and you're going to search up Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Pro. I know I'm working my way backwards since I already had it in my trash, um, but in here when you put Final Cut Pro, those files are going to show up. Um, and if not, um, you're going to have to go to Applications um, and go to, um, let me see, you would go to System Files and then you're going to click R included and then Final Cut Pro. I also would like to add with this example that in order for your system to show up System Files, you need to click the plus sign, click on Other, and type in system and click the blue check and click OK. Obviously, since I already have them all these files in the trash, um, these are going to show up as well as other um, files. Of course, there's going to be some like browser links and JavaScripts that may um, go with your Final Cut Pro. Do not delete those. Um, just find these four and delete those four because that's all you need to delete. This is the same thing um, that is mentioned in the forms, um, discussion forms, but I just want to put it in a video um, because this just, it would help me and I know it will help others. If you get the wrong file, you can always put back. Um, know exactly what they need to remove. So we're going to remove those files right now. We're going to empty our trash. We're going to say goodbye Final Cut Pro trail goodbye <laughs> and yeah that's it so like comment subscribe love you guys bye